Hello and welcome. In our lesson today, we are going to tackle past KCC questions on extraction of aluminium. So stay tuned. Now this is a question from KCC 2008, paper 1. The question goes as such. During the extraction of aluminium from its ores, the ore is first purified to obtain alumina. So we have a flowchart over there and we're supposed to answer the questions that follow using it. But before that, let us just remind ourselves of what is involved in extraction of aluminium. So the main ore from which aluminium is extracted is bauxite. And aluminium is extracted from bauxite using electrolysis. But before electrolysis can take place, what needs to happen initially is concentration of the bauxite. It simply means that the bauxite ore needs to be purified because it contains certain impurities like silica and iron 3 oxide. Now after purification has been done, then the next step is electrolysis. Now electrolysis begins with molten aluminium 3 oxide. So you initially have aluminium oxide in solid state and this of course is heated in order to convert it to molten state. Why? Because for electrolysis to take place, mobile ions need to be present and these can only be present either in aqua state or in molten state. So the mobile ions are the ones that conduct the electric current throughout the structure enabling decomposition to take place. Now let's look at the origin of our flowchart, the alumina. So alumina is simply aluminium 3 oxide. So that is initially our first step, melting the alumina, melting the solid alumina. Now one thing to note is this, alumina or aluminium oxide has a very high melting point. In fact, its melting point is more than 2000 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine the amount of heat energy that will be needed to melt huge quantities of aluminium oxide, it will be astronomical. It will cause the production costs to hit the roof. Now, in order to prevent this, a compound by the name of sodium cryolite is added. So sodium cryolite simply reduces the melting point of aluminium from 2015 degrees Celsius to around 800 degrees Celsius. So it makes the whole process economical. Now, the liquid alumina then undergoes process D1, leading to the formation of molten aluminium metal and oxygen gas. Now, of course, this process is electrolysis. So, let's look at part A. Name substance C1. This is sodium cryolite. Name process D1. And this, of course, is electrolysis. Part B. Give two reasons why aluminium is used extensively in the making of cooking pans. Now, aluminium is a good conductor of heat. That is one reason. Reason number two is that aluminium tends to have a coating of aluminium oxide. Now, this coating makes the aluminium metal unreactive and therefore they are not easily corroded by cooking liquids. And that is that. Let's take a deep breath before proceeding to the next question. Now our next question is from 2016, paper two. The diagram below represents a setup of an electrolytic cell that can be used in the production of aluminium. A, on the diagram, label the anode. Okay, so there we have it, that's our anode. And then just maybe to remind ourselves, that is the cathode. B, Write the equation for the reaction at the anode. Now at the anode, this is our positive electrode. So we are going to have negative ions migrating towards the anode. And these of course are going to be the oxygen ions. Now at the anode is where oxidation takes place. Oxidation involves the loss of electrons. So oxygen ions are going to lose electrons in order to form oxygen molecules. Now, each oxygen ion is going to lose two electrons. At C, give a reason why the electrolyte process is not carried out below 950 degrees Celsius. If the temperatures were to be as low as such, what will happen is that the aluminium oxide will solidify and therefore no mobile ions will be present to conduct the electric current and therefore electrolysis cannot take place. D, 
give a reason why the production of aluminium is not carried out using the deduction process. Now this is because aluminium is a reactive metal. It's more reactive than common reducing agents that are usually used like carbon and therefore they cannot reduce the aluminium oxide. E. Give two reasons why only aluminium ions are discharged. Now in case you're wondering what other ions could possibly be discharged apart from aluminium ions then please take a look at our diagram above now in our diagram you'll find that in our molten mixture we have two compounds we have aluminium oxide and we also have the sodium cryolite so actually we are going to have two ions migrating towards the cathode so these two ions are sodium ions and aluminium ions but only aluminium ions are discharged. Now this is for two reasons. Reason number one is that aluminium is lower in the electrochemical series than sodium. So that means that aluminium is less reactive than sodium and therefore less energy is required for aluminium to gain electrons than so sodium. Reason number two is because aluminium ions are at a higher concentration compared to sodium ions and therefore they are preferentially discharged. Last one F. State two properties of duralumin that makes it suitable for use in aircraft industry. So point number one is that it's light and point number two is that it's stronger than pure aluminum. Now that brings us to the end of our revision exercise. I hope it's been a productive one for you. Subscribe, like for more videos to come. See you there.